Hello and welcome to this class of simple equations. So now to start with if you look at your screen you will find two pairs of equations that is one and one here. In both the cases we see that number of equations is 2 while the number of unknowns that is x, y and z is 3 and you are required to solve the question. In first case you have to find the value of x and in second case you have to find the value of x plus y plus z. So now by gut feeling uh, it comes to our mind that these questions are unsolvable. Why? Because we do need three equations to solve the system of equations which has three unknowns and we are very definitely right. But then Whoever has said this question has done a clever thing. In first case, he has asked the value of x and not x, y and z together. So there must be a way through which we can find x. Yes, for solving x, y and z together, we do need three equations. But then that is not something which question demands. Similarly, in second case, we have been asked the sum of x plus y plus z and it's not as necessary for us to calculate individually x, y and z to find x plus y plus z. So this is once again a clever question. So let's see how to go about solving such cases. In case 1 what I see is that the terms which are associated with y and z are 3 and 4 respectively while terms associated with y and z in second equation if I call this first equation as 1 and 2 then terms associated with y and z in the second equation are 6 and 8 respectively. Now we do see a pattern here that is the ratio of terms here is 3 is to 4 while here it is 6 is to 8. The advantage of that is that if somehow you can make y terms equal then z terms will automatically become equal. For example, if I multiply equation 1 by 2, I get 2 into 2x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 80 which is equal to 4x plus 6y plus 8z equal to 160. Let's call this new equation as equation 3. Now if I see I have multiplied the term multiply this whole equation by 2 just to make sure that the y coefficients coefficients of y in equation 2 and this new equation are same. But you see, even the z term, the term which is there with z, which we call coefficient, has become same. That is 8z and 8z. So now if I do 3 minus 2, that is equation 3 minus equation 2, I get 3x, sorry, 4x plus 6y plus 8z equal to 160 minus 3x plus 6y plus 8z equal to 150 which is good because I am getting 4x minus 3x plus 6y minus 6y plus 8z minus 8z equal to 160 minus 150 which lead me to x plus 0 plus 0 equal to 10 therefore x equal to 10 so here's my answer that is x equal to 10 now similarly if I look at 
a question here that is 3x plus 4y plus z equal to 84 let me call this as equation 1 and the second one as equation 2 if I see I have to find x plus y plus z and if I see that if you see the difference in the coefficients of x y and z you will realize that the difference here is 3 minus 1 2 4 minus 2 2 and again 6 minus 4 equal to 2 as a result it's a good idea to subtract 2 from 1 so subtract 2 from 1 will give us x plus 2y plus 4z sorry 2 from 1 so it's actually 3x plus 4y plus 6z equal to 84 minus x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 24 which gives me 3x minus x plus 4y minus 2y plus 6z minus 4z is equal to 84 minus 24 which in turn is equal to 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 60 taking 2 as common x plus y plus z is equal to 60 therefore x plus y plus z equal to 60 by 2 that is after dividing both sides by 2 which is equal to 30 so again we have located the answer of x plus y plus z without actually finding the values of x y and z and given only two equations despite both of them having three unknowns so having dealt with these problems let's move to more trickier version of similar principles for example in this question they have asked us to find the value of y now since they have asked us to find y that means the terms which we need to eliminate are x and z and yes they do help us because if you see the ratio between the coefficient of x that is 3 and coefficient of z that is 9 is 3 is to 9 which is equal to 1 is to 3 similarly here again the ratio of term with x that is 4 and term with z that is 12 that is 4 is to 12 which is again 1 is to 3 the advantage of this is again that if somehow we can take care of equating the coefficients of x and y I'm sorry equa equating the coefficients of x in both the equations that is equation 1 and equation 2 then coefficients of z will automatically be equated to equate the coefficients of x in both the equations I need to multiply equation 1 by 4 so doing that Four is the number four. I get four into three x plus five y plus nine z equal to fifty six, which will then give me twelve x plus twenty y plus thirty six z equal to two twenty four. Let me call this equation three. Now multiplying, similarly multiplying equation 2 by 3 I get 3 into 4x minus 3y plus 12z equal to 36 which in turn gives me 12x 
माइनस नाइन वाई प्लस थर्टी सिक्स जेड इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड एट लेट्स कॉल दिस इक्वेशन फोर नाउ इफ आई सी इफ आई सब्ट्रैक्ट If I subtract equation four from equation three, that is three minus four, I would be able to eliminate x term and y term. This is thirty-six. Please don't mind my handwriting. So it will be twelve x plus twenty y plus thirty-six z equal to two twenty-four minus twelve x. Minus nine y plus thirty six z equal to one not eight. As a result, we get twelve x minus twelve x plus twenty y minus minus of nine y plus thirty six z minus thirty six z. Is equal to 224 minus 108, which will give me 0 plus 29y plus 0 equal to 116. As a result, y is equal to 116 by 29, which will lead me to have y equal to 4. So once again, I have got the answer. Two equations which were having three unknowns. Let's move to this problem. Now, in this problem, unlike previous problem, I see that on subtracting, on plain subtraction, that is, three minus two is one. On eight y minus five y is three y. Eighteen z minus eleven z is seven z. I am not getting anywhere close to x plus y plus z. By the way, here. Get to find x plus y plus z again, just like the above problem. So here, despite that, I am not getting anywhere close to finding x plus y plus z. But anyways, I go ahead with the subtraction and see what happens. So on two minus one, we get three x plus eight y. Plus eighteen z equal to ninety five minus two x plus five y plus eleven z equal to sixty, which will in turn give me three x minus two x plus eight y minus five y plus eighteen z minus eleven z equal to ninety five. Minus sixty, which will be x plus three y plus seven z equal to thirty five. So this is my equation three. Now again, if I look at equation three carefully and try to subtract it from equation one, I get. Two minus one, that is one x. Five minus three, two y. Eleven minus seven, that is four z. So again, it is not leading me to x plus y plus z. But one thing we have accomplished by this subtraction is that we have reduced down the coefficients of x. Coefficients of x were two and three. Now it is one. Coefficients of x were eight and five. Now it is three. And coefficient of z were eleven and eighteen. And now it's seven. So basically, by reducing the value of coefficients, I am moving towards one x plus one y plus one z. So let's keep subtracting. But then, what do I subtract now? Good idea of subtraction will be to even lower down the coefficients even more. Will be to have one minus three. So on one minus three, I get. 2x plus 5y plus 11z equal to 
माइनस एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस सेवन जेड इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव which in turn gives me 2x minus x plus 5y minus 3y plus 11z minus 7z equal to 60 minus 35 which gives me x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 25 let's call this equation 4 so I further lowered down the coefficients of x, y and z. Now I am up to 1, 2 and 4 as compared to 1, 3 and 7 in equation 3. Now if I do one more subtraction as I have been doing, I will eliminate x but that's not what I want. So I will have to put an end to subtraction here and just see what I can do with the two equations which I have. That is this x plus 3y plus 7z equal to 35 and x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 25. One thing I can do is that if I multiply equation 4 by 2 I will get 2x and 2x minus x is x plus 4y 4y minus 3y will be y plus 8z minus 7z which is again which will be z and then subtract then I will get x plus y plus z. So let's do it. Multiplying 4 by 2. Gives us 2 into x plus 2y plus 4z to 2 into 25 which is 2x plus 4y plus 8z equal to 50. Let's call this 5. Now as we see on subtracting 5 and 3 that is 5 minus 3 I get 2x minus x as x, 4y minus 3y as y and 8z minus 7z as z. So that will solve my problem. So let's do it. 5 minus 3. This gives me, as I said, 2x minus x plus 4y minus 3y plus 8z minus 7z equal to 50 minus 35, which is x plus y plus z equal to 15. So finally, I am there with the answer again. So thanks for watching this video. In our next video, we will be discussing about different types of equations and about consistency of equations. Thank you. See you in the next video.